congratulations. Well, after presiding over a pandemic, the Bishop of Newcastle has announced her retirement. Bishop Christine Hardman came out of retirement to take the position covering Newcastle, Northumberland and North Tyneside. She's battled to bring attention to child poverty and homelessness in an area which she says she's fallen in love with. Well, Bishop Christine is also passionate about women advancing in the Church of England, as she explained to me. It does feel a different place and it's not about women's rights. It's about um, men and women equally being represented in the leadership of the church because men and women equally are made in the image of God. And so this isn't just for women in the church, this is for women everywhere. Um, so that, that symbolism is really, really important. It is, it is a different place. We still have much work to do as a church in, for example, working on um, diversity in terms of ethnicity. So there's no place for us to sit back and be complacent. Not so long ago, churches were all about you know, bottoms on seats, getting numbers in. Do you think having faith now is more about everyday acts of kindness, compassion? I think when you're trying to share your faith, it's far more effective if people can see something about the quality of the way you live your life than if you um, preach at people. So I think it really matters uh, that we, we do live out our faith and not just um, you know, theoretically hold it. I'm remembering the Beast of the East storm that year when the cathedral, challenged by a woman in Blythe, the cathedral opened its doors on the coldest night of the year to anyone who was out on the street. And that, that act had more effect, I think, in talking about the love of Jesus than any number of sermons. The church has played an interesting role, particularly in this region, I think it's pertinent because we've seen divisions deepening, haven't we? We've had usages of food banks skyrocketing, um, the educational gap, the health gap widening, um, and the church has really become more vocal yes. about that. There must be concern about watching these divisions. I think for me, it's at the heart of my faith that every human being uh, needs to have the possibility of leading their life with dignity and with decency. And the blight of poverty uh, makes that impossible for people. And I particularly feel for children being brought up in homes which are homes in poverty. So I, I, I don't personally see how you can hold a Christian faith and not find this something which you have to absolutely get involved in. One of the things I've really found is that by serendipity really, um, and traditionally I ended up in the House of Lords, uh, and I've been determined to try to use that in order to give voice, particularly to the issues around um, poverty, homelessness, and the concerns we have in the North East, where some of the areas are the left behind areas. Yeah. Well, we wish you well. Thank, thank you very you. much for talking to us, and thank you for the six years. Well, <laughs> the, the pleasure's been all mine. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.